America mourns Nancy Reagan, but the president stays away. Relatives from 10 White House families attend former First Lady's funeral along with 1,000 guests while Obama is notable absentee. A funeral for Nancy Reagan was being held at her late husband's presidential library in Southern California Friday. Close relatives from 10 White House families attended the services in Simi Valley, north of Los Angeles. First Lady Michelle Obama and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton sat in the front row alongside former President George W. Bush, former First Lady Laura Bush. The memorial service for the former Hollywood actress and First Lady capped two days during which thousands of mourners filed past her flower-bedecked casket as she lay in repose at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library. President Barack Obama will not be in attendance because he is speaking at Austin's Hip SXSW Festival. The popular technology get-together has been described as spring break for geeks. Nearly 1,000 people, including a veritable who's who of American political life, journalism and Hollywood gathered on Friday in Simi Valley, California, for the funeral of Nancy Reagan. The dignified and powerful service saw readings and remembrances by Reagan's niece and nephew, as well as former former White House Chief of Staff James A. Baker and journalists Diane Sawyer and Tom Brokaw. The guests also witnessed Patty Davis describe her turbulent relationship with her mother and their undying love in devastating fashion. Davis described her parents as two halves of a circle, recalling a long ago memory of seeing the two of them sitting on a Southern California beach at sunset in what she called an impenetrable island for two. Reagan's son, Ronald Prescott Reagan, also spoke at the funeral, telling guests the likely would not have been a President Ronald Reagan without Nancy Reagan, saying she had an absolute belief in him, as well as provided guidance and a refuge. Friday's service brought together Democrat and Republican, an unusual tableau at a time of deep division in Washington and the 2016 campaign trail. The biggest stars in entertainment, not only of today, but those of Reagan's time in the White House, are also in attendance. President Barack Obama did not attend the services, as he had a prior engagement in Austin, Texas, where he is a keynote speaker at South by Southwest. The funeral started at 11 a.m. on Friday, with a musical prelude beginning at 10.15 a.m. by the Santa Susana High School Advanced Women's Choir and Abbey Road a cappella, and an instrumental prelude by the 1st Marine Division Band, Marine Corps Camp Pendleton. A love letter from Ronald Reagan to Nancy was also read at the service by former Canadian Prime Minister Brian Mulroney as a reminder that their romance was one of the more enduring romances in modern American public life. Meanwhile US President Barack Obama made a stop at Torchy's Tacos in Austin, Texas, before speaking at South by Southwest on Friday. Hillary Clinton took a break from the presidential campaign to attend and other politicians on the list cover the political spectrum, from Newt Gingrich to Nancy Pelosi. Many criticized President Barack Obama for choosing to speak at SXSW instead of attend Reagan's funeral, but Obama is hardly the first president to miss a former first lady's funeral. President Jimmy Carter did not attend Mommy Eisenhower's funeral in 1979 but his wife, Rosalind Carter, did. President Ronald Reagan did not attend Best Ruman's funeral in 1982 but Nancy Reagan went. President Bill Clinton and his wife, Hillary, did not attend Pat Nixon's funeral in 1993 and President George W. Bush did not attend Lady Bird Johnson's funeral in 2007. His wife, Laura, and his mother, Barbara Bush, attended. When Betty Ford died in 2011, Obama did not attend but his wife did. Reagan left the presidency after eight years, on January 20, 1989. Ronald Reagan was one of the best presidents we've ever had, and I admired them both as a couple for their love story and the support they showed to each other, said retired school teacher Mary Ellen Gruendike, from Riverside. Mrs. Reagan planned the smallest details of her funeral. She selected the funeral's flower arrangements, 
the music to be played by a Marine Corps band and the list of guests invited to the private memorial. The library site, where the 40th president was buried in 2004, provides sweeping views of horse country dotted with oaks and, on a clear day, a vista to the Pacific. The Reagans just fell in love with the spot. Boston developer and Republican fundraiser Gerald Blake Kelly recalled in a 2004 interview. He was part of a partnership that donated the land where the library now sits. We are just grateful for the Reagan years, Ray Brooks of Simi Valley said Thursday as he waited in line with his wife Jackie to board a shuttle to the library grounds, where Mrs. Reagan's casket was placed in the marble lobby with a bronze statue of a smiling Ronald Reagan nearby. Everybody, no matter how they felt about those years, when they look back they remember them as good years because of the example they set. We need an example like that now, Brooks said. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmeme.webs.com.